Hey, it's Toby. This is my second chemistry session. And today, as you've just seen, we're going to be going over esters. Okay, well, basic principles about esters. Right. They're formed, two molecules joined together by a pet, um, my bad, ester bonds. Now, an ester bond is formed when water is removed, which is known as a condensation reaction. Okay, and then obviously, it can be what can be put back in, which is known as hydrolysis, to break the ester into its original molecules. Okay, now there's two main ways in how an ester can form. Okay, from an alcohol and a carboxylic acid, and I'm going to demonstrate to you today an example with my molecular set of balls. <laughs> um, how this is this is done exactly? Okay. So here. Is that alcohol? This molecule in particular is known as propen one or propanol. Okay, so that's our like alcohol or H group. And also, we need a carboxylic acid, which we've got here, but it's named ethanoic acid. It's got two carbons, hydrogens, oxygen, and Note the C double O bond group. It's double bond because carbon can form four bonds. It's four out of shell electrons. Okay. Now for these two molecules to form, water needs to be removed. So let's see what we can remove. So we can remove H and O from the cups of the acid and hydrogen from this group. So if we do this as follows. So therefore we have our water molecule as a waste product. <coughs> and then we get our ester forming. It was a bit stiff. There we go. So that's our ester. And there's the ester linkage. C double bond O C O. Okay. <coughs> now to name an ester, we start off, we use um, alcohol as the prefix and we use the carboxylic acid chain as the suffix. So as this was propen 1 of and it's lost hydrogen, we call it propyl ethanoate. The um, salt of the carboxylic acid, so like propyl ethanoic or propyl ethanoic acid. Okay, so there we go. There's the ester. And like I said earlier, they can be um, broken down by a process called hydrolysis. And um, there's two types. You can have acid, where you use the acid as the catalyst, which is hydrochloric acid, and you'd also add the molecule of water to the bond to break it, obviously with the acid as the catalyst under heat and reflux. And also you can use um, alkali, you would use a molecule such as NaOH, a strong base, and water. And now I'll show you the products formed from an acid hydrolysis first. So when it's an acid hydrolysis, you get your original products. <coughs> so the propyl monol and ethanoic acid. Okay. There you go. However, it's slightly different of a alkali hydrolysis because you get the salt formed, you get the carboxylate, which is the salt of the carboxylic acid, and the alcohol. So, so 
so you add in your water again, just add in sodium hydroxide, sodium of each as the catalyst, and with the carboxyl acids, the sodium will join onto this group. Oxygen rejoining onto the carboxylic acid, and you also get the sodium atom like that. This has a slightly negative charge, this is a positive charge because it's ionic bonding. So there we have it, and you call this molecule by sodium ethanoate because F ethane, two carbons sodium and eight because it's the it's a carboxylate. Okay. <coughs> so I've got a bit of coal. And here we have a half finished both one off. Obviously a hydrogen will just drawn onto that to form a rubber product of both one off of the hyd acid um alcohol hydrolysis. There we go. Thanks for watching my video on esters. If you liked it, check out my other video on conjugate acid base pairs. I explain thoroughly on the concepts and the theories behind acid and base, like definitions, and also show like examples of the type of question they'd ask in the exam. Peace.